Game Society Films After Dark. Welcome to another episode of Game Society After Dark. This time on Game Society After Dark, we are delving into the depths of a spooky spaceship in dead space. Where there's lots of space and it's mostly dead. So in this game you play as a dude named Isaac and you're an engineer. And uh, this is typically what engineers do, from what I gather. Go into creepy spaceships and kill zombies. This guy's helmet is interesting. Yeah, he looks like he's formerly a member of Daft Punk. You've been sent to this ship to repair its communication. Uh, devices and so when they get there they find out that it's infected like with all these uh, creatures and they're not really they're kind of like zombies but with blades for arms and really gross looking it's so basically they ripped off the plot from the uh, 1980s cl classic arcade game xenophobe really yeah that's the plot of that game? Oh yeah, you gotta go in and there's a bunch of weird creatures and you have to like uh, turn on some consoles and repair some stuff yeah, that's actually exactly what this game is all about. So this is a Game Society After Dark. What makes this game dark? There's something above you. Oh god, there's something above you! But yeah, to answer your question, this is a really good game, and it's very scary. Especially if you're playing this alone yeah, at but night. I, was, I would never do that. <laughs> oh my god. Isaac. Isaac. What kind of a name for a hero is Isaac? Well, Isaac Newton was a hero. He was also a scientist. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. Oh god, it's heads on backwards. You seem kind of like mutated or something. Hey, I just want to talk- oh. Hey man, can we just talk for a second? I have some information for you you might find useful. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he just really badly wanted to like, talk to you. Yeah. They're, they're lonely. It's really kind of sad. Yeah, it is kind of sad. This game is just really sad and depressing. <laughs> I'd rather watch ugly Japanese women stripping. Mm. Oh, wait, no, no, we're no <laughs> never mind. Never mind, I don't want to, I'm, I take that back. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's kind of nice, his arms spurting out there. <laughs> Look at that mouth. It's a big mouth. Might be able to fuck that shoulder socket. Ooh, yeah. Right? That's gross. The shoulder socket? That's what Game Society After Dark is all about. <laughs> Fucking shoulder sockets. Game Society <laughs> films. We fuck shoulder sockets. <laughs> These things, you know what they remind me of? Thanksgiving turkeys before you cook them. And before you step on them and shoot them. Yes. And pack them full of fake blood and then drive your car over them so it squirts everywhere. <laughs> the claw bone's connected to the arm bone. The arm bone's connected to the... Uh... <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, it turns out the arm bone is connected to the leg bone. Oh. And, and the leg bone's connected to... The leg to... bone's connected to the neck bone. <laughs> We've, we've got that all figured out now. We're gonna do the song correctly next time. This place Pulse is pretty rounds. bright for a, a scary game like this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what were you just saying? <laughs> I just had to say something. Oh God! oh, God! Where was that thing? That guy's looking for his keys. <laughs> I know I dropped him somewhere <laughs> around Gotta here. be under the table. You know what these guys would be really good at? What? Playing Twister. <laughs> They'd beat your ass in a second. Ooh, this is cool. I want to see what happens to this dude. Oh, man. He's got a little puppy dog. That's cute. I don't think that's a puppy. So what is this room? What do you think, uh, what do you think they were doing with all these babbies? Hmm. <laughs> maybe there, maybe this is a doll factory. Oh, shit. Oh, God. This looks like trouble. Awesome. God. I've always wanted to punt a baby. If you're pregnant, you should not watch this video. I guess we should have said that earlier. Yes. Actually, you know, some of the scariest parts of this game is when you're just walking around and one of your friends just decides to start talking to you. Because it goes, Oh, hey, uh, by the way, I just want to let you know that my uh, macaroni and cheese is done. I'm thinking about putting bacon bits in it. Ever tried that? Seems like it'd be pretty good. Might be too salty. I just wanted to keep you company while you're, <laughs> you know, being attacked and mauled by weird, misshapen, <laughs> grotesque grease. So yeah, honestly, honestly, this game is scary. Yeah, Probably this... not so much when you're sitting there with your friends drinking beer and laughing at it. This beer is kind of gross. I mean, this, <laughs> this part is kind of gross. I enjoy the elevator parts because you always know those are safe. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, you, you never expect anything to come at you while you're in an elevator. Yeah. Oh, oh my God! God! At the door! 